Okay, we're working on a 99 Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's got the V10 6.8 liter engine. One of the problems with these is they set a PO171 and 174 fault codes in the computer. That means that the right bank is lean, very lean. One of the main causes for that, besides the fuel pump, obviously, is this PCV hose that's buried under here. And what happens is right where my screwdriver is pointing, this PCV hose splits and it sucks in and it causes a vacuum leak that causes those codes. Pull this thing off of here so that you'll be able to see it. And then I'll show you. Also, the way to get these plugs out of here without damaging anything. I'm going to pull this whole PCB hose. Assembly out of here. Here's a close look. See this split right here? That's where the vacuum leak is. It's connected to this hose and this valve that goes into the valve cover. What that does is it sucks crankcase vent fumes out of the engine. Okay, now we're going to take a real close look at one of these plugs if I can get a good There we go. I'm just going to take this one off for you to see. This is not causing any codes, it's just that it's been a very long time since these were done. In fact, these are probably the originals. Came with the car. First, this connector to the individual coil assembly has to be unplugged here. Then we have to take the screw out of the you have to take that screw that holds those down. Seven millimeter socket. Take this little screw out of here. And that's all that holds that coil assembly down right here. Just a screw. And then you just carefully work these off. I don't have to be too careful because this is the piece that I'm going to be replacing. I replace the whole assembly, especially after they've got a hundred thousand miles on them, because they cause misfires that comes and goes and it ruins the catalytic converter. And down in the hole below it is of course the spark plug. I like to fill this hole just a little bit with WD-40. Like so. And then I let it sit for a little bit.
What we want to do after we do that is take this special elongated socket. I want to get that down in there. And then just crack that free just a little bit. And work it back and forth. And then let that WD-40 work in those threads for a while. And you can keep from stripping out the threads from the head, which happens quite a bit with these. And then later on, we take the rest of the plug out. And unfortunately, there's 10 of them on this thing, and it's an expensive tune-up job. But there's no getting around it. Here's a larger look at the engine itself in here. Now each one of these plugs has one of those screws that holds the coil on it along with that little connector that I disconnected the first time. Each one of these, going all the way back to the back of the engine, has to be re removed in the same way. And that cylinder filled with a little bit of WD-40 so that it can soak. Then you can do the plugs with uh, very little chance of damaging. That's it. The main, the main point in this is the fact this came in with a code 171 and 174, PO 171, 174, caused because of this PCB hose deteriorating and causing a vacuum leak. And that's what caused the codes. Uh, the tune-up is a maintenance deal. And of course, I'll take care of this during that process. That's it. Sorry if this was a little bit too much inside baseball stuff, but. I thought it'd be interesting since I get so many emails from people about these spark plugs and about those codes 171 and 174. That's it for now.